there guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It is Monday, October 5th at 10.19 hours. What's up? What's up? Yeah. We're cleaning. I know. There's like big movement happening. We're, we're doing the transition for the print shop. Cool. So, all of this is moving out. All of this is moving in. It's going to get radically reorganized. I'm digging it. We're looking forward to having enough room for all the printing supplies. Yes, I'm looking forward to having enough room to bring heavy equipment through. Yes. I'm going to be moving heavy equipment soon, just so you know. Like, we are, we are one of the next things I'm doing is I'm getting the pallet, I need the pallet jack and the high voltage because I have to move uh, the big variant stack and stuff around. Because nine forty this morning. Yay! I pay attention. So, print shop's getting built today. I've got an 1132 tour, I've got a 12 o'clock tour, and this is before. A lot of my day today is going to be making this look significantly better. So, that's, that's going to be a job. But, that's my plan, is to make this look amazingly better. That's my entire plan. I don't have any details on it. I haven't thought it all through. It's, it says improv, but I'm going to get my tunes on. I'm going to rock out. We're going to move a lot of stuff around. So that's where that starts. But the first thing I'm going to do, be right back. Look at them lights. That's right, look at them damn lights, isn't that beautiful? All the way around the room. Ah, ah it's a start. Shut up, my little lights give me hope. Don't, don't mock me. Look at them lights. Damn. Oh, it's so cool. Hey, Moose. You, you guys want to see something cool? Sure. Because most of you didn't see this yesterday. You, you should come here. See something cool? This is cool. This is like the greatest thing ever. That's a lot of too. Well, it's pretty cool. Oh! They light up and everything. Yes. That's a good height. Yeah. It's the maximum. So what are these for? They're these are, these, if you hit one of these lights, these are the oh shit buttons. Yes. So hitting any one of the 14 buttons immediately kills the main 4A power into the cage. Oh. So just, oh shit, boom. And they're high enough that, okay, you're short, hit that button. Well, Tim, you can't reach it though. See? Any, any adult sized person can hit it. No adult sized, even Bellatini leaning against the wall will accidentally toggle them. So we've got that <laughs> sorted. People can't accidentally set them off, but anybody who intentionally wants to can set them off. And any young know, teenagers could hit them. I think I know one person that could like set those off and say lean against. Yeah, them. I've right. seen I've, I've Six seen the guys eight. who did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just lean yeah. against. Yeah. Them. Yeah. I like that there's Lots one outside. Yes, yeah. Yeah. there's there's that's that's the one. Like fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I'm out. And yeah, because they're. Because we've never had moments in this room where you've done that. Like, just run screaming out of the room, like, ah! Yeah, so it's good to have one just on your way out the door. I was, I was thinking very hard about putting it right here. But that just, not yet. I'm, I haven't done this area yet. I think there are people who... That was my thinking, is, yeah. So I, I haven't figured out what to do over here yet. And we still have to add the ones for the cage. There will be switches on every single door of the cage. So the doors, the doors will have to be closed. That one being there is that if you come in to see something going wrong, you can in your line of sight is the button. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's really and cool. I'm going to incorporate it into the spiel of these are the buttons and this is what they're for. And we are, in the spirit of constructive irreverence, they are not being labeled emergency stop. I was going to ask, is there going to be any sign? There will be a label on every single individual button. It will be very small. And it will say, oh shit. 
<laughs> it's something that you won't notice unless you're looking for it, but it's there because I need to be just a little bit irreverent because that's how this lab rolls. Yeah. Okay. But it's a start. I find that as long as we took down the sign that said there's science in this shit. I'm yeah, we, we took that off the <laughs> I think they took that. Yeah, they took that off the door. Somebody needs to clean the schmoo off the door. There's a lot of schmoo there's... on some doors that needs to be cleaned. Okay. There, there is schmoo. Well, but my, we're going to do, you guys are going to work on that, on building the print shop and getting that clean. I'm going to be working on this. Um, i got to find Batman. i got to move a pallet jack. But Batman yeah. and Bellatini are making the MDH look nice. That's a good idea. i got to move the boat. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move the marina a bit. So did you tell the IRC crew that it's on? No, I, I haven't. I don't have IRC on the CCC right now because I'm down to one computer and one monitor because no power. Well, I so the IRC. I haven't been able to be in the IRC for days. I called the IRC last night. Oh, about the thing? Yes. All right. You want to tell the blog? Sure. Okay. So we're, we're doing that big fundraiser. Yes. For because consumer sucks. Because consumer sucks for $58,000. Okay. And it was suggested that we offer up a prize. We frequently do prizes for big fundraisers. Yeah. So many donations gets you a ticket. So mm -hmm. every $10 in this donation gets you one ticket. Okay. And the prize at the end, when we reach $58,000, regardless of how we get there, is um, we will draw a name out of a hat and the winner, no matter where they are in the world, gets a paid trip to the Geek Group. So it's it's a week at the Geek Group. A week at the Geek Group. This is awesome. And yeah. we're covering everything. We arranged airfare and I've arranged for food and I have a place for them to stay. Okay. The whole thing. This is cool. And you'll have until the end of June to make your trip because some people said, well, I, I have to wait a long time to get time off. Yeah. It's like, that's fine. Anytime you want. Anytime you want. Up to seven days. No matter where you are. What was that? Chris Channel 2. On my way. Hey, can I have the rolly metal cart now? You had it out here, you did art stuff on it. It's a big rolly oh, wire frame. Form? Yeah. Probably. Because, man, I could use that in high voltage. Once we get everything arranged, I imagine we want to do it. All right, that'd be cool. We do have another one of those now. Yeah. I have somebody put it together. Oh, yeah, it's right there. 
You helping? You're a helper. You're a helper. You can only do that if you get me a grand piano. <laughs> no. Do you know how expensive those are? Yes. How heavy they are? Yes. Alright, so now the black one comes Jordan had a grand. over in the middle. Nice. I like a C. Let's get that. Still does. Yeah. Has he upgraded it yet to a full concert? What is that? No, not, just, like not the 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 Are you guys really letting the girls move the heavy shit while you yeah, two sit around and talk about pianos? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Your quality, Chris. It's lovely. I know. It also needs to go to the right a little bit. That's good.
All right, so we rocked out on it, and it may, it's not clean yet, but it's a hell of a lot better. We got things organized down this area, and there's a lot of stuff not here anymore. A lot of it was a million tiny little fiddly bits, but that is significantly better. I'm digging it. And this is better. We moved a lot of stuff out of here. We probably moved, quite literally, a ton and a half, two tons of gear out of that room. You can barely tell the difference. If you haven't been in there all day, you probably wouldn't notice it. Also, there's still soot on things. Hey, Moose! Yes? I came to see what you guys did today. So, you gotta give us a tour. The tour? I just did the tour of high voltage, which okay. isn't nearly as impressive as it should be for the amount of work we put into it, but... Well, over here we have all of the printing supplies, paper, envelopes, things like that. And then the benches have the big paper working tools okay. on them, and you can still get into the bins that would be back there. And then you move further over and we go into sublimation and printing, things like that. We've got both those bins. It's quite lovely. And, um, and then vinyl cutting and sublimation materials. And then these are things that we're working on for retail. Okay. So we can work on them as we go and take okay. pictures. Then you come into the sublimation workstations. Cool. Um, big vinyl cutter. And then we're, this is not quite where it's going to be, but we're working on it. The sublimation okay. station. And then the drawers with big sheets. Cool. And, and you got to show them up here. Oh, well first, okay. look at this beautiful swath that we gave. There is a nice clear area for hauling danger heavy high voltage stuff through. So now the room meets fire code, which is a novel improvement. And then over here, we're still working it out, but we've got a ring of desks going on. Okay. And this is all grant writing, fundraising, front office stuff. Front office stuff, and the Xerox will be moving into the print room. Okay. Which will free up some leg room. Cool. But then we won't have to shout across the Xerox yeah, this is to talk handy. to each other. The dog is pleased. The dog has had a very rough day. Yeah? Because lots of big things moving? Without her. Yes. Well, she wants to help. She's a helper. Drop a file cabinet to her back. Hi, dog. How you doing, dog? How you doing, dog? I will pet you with my dirty hand. Come here. Come here. I will pet the... I'll, I just want to pet your white parts with my dirty hand. At one point, she was so sad and by herself that she had to cuddle the plants. She cuddled the plants? Yeah. Did you cuddle the plants? It was... <laughs> what? You gotta let go. Let go and I'll throw it. I don't, I don't want to do that. So they cost $5,000 on fundraising. Yay. That's very cool. Slow grinding process. If we can do 5,000 tomorrow, then, you know, we're making a real progress. So, 10 bucks gets you a ticket. 10 bucks gets 10 you a ticket. Gets you a ticket for a, a in the raffle. All expenses paid trip to the Geek Group. First prize is a week in Grand Rapids. Second prize is two weeks in Kalamazoo. And, uh, I was asked, we are opening it up to our off site staff. Yeah, can be, can be anyone, anywhere. anywhere in the world. Yeah. Even Matt. No, nope, I'm ineligible because I'm here. Oh. Well, okay. if you win or any of the local staff wins, they get to reach their hand and just pick a name. <laughs> well, that's a good system. That's actually a cool prize because I feel really cool. Yeah. So we're going to put everybody's name in because quite a few local people have contributed. Cool. So if they win, they get to pick the new name. Okay. I'm going to go change the gunge on my hands. It's a good I'll be back. For you. I just want to be pretty.